Today on the channel, get your list together. My top 10 most wanted action figures of 2021. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another video, but today a video that's a little bit different. This is my top 10 most wanted figures in 2021. Uh, out of a lot of different companies, we'll talk about all of them, but my top 10 figures I want between all lines, we're talking Star Wars, we're talking wrestling, we're talking G.I. Joe, we're talking Marvel, we're talking music, we're talking a little bit of everything. Uh, no particular order in these figures. But if I ch could choose 10 figures to release in 2021, these are the 10 I would choose. So let's start it off. And we're going to start it off with a little music. You guys know I love heavy metal, and there's nobody I love more than my boy Lemmy. Uh, I got a dog named Lemmy. I love Motorhead, my favorite band of all time. And that just leads me to believe, and I'm hoping this happens in 2021, and that would be that Super 7 steps up to the plate and makes an ultimate Lemmy figure. How awesome would that be? Lemmy Motorhead, we've had statues, we've had reaction figures, we've had bobbleheads, we've had a lot of stuff over the years, but we haven't had a true six inch scaled articulated figure. And Super 7, we know they do the reaction figures of heavy metal icons, Ghost, King Diamond, uh, Lemmy, Motorhead, uh, Rob Halford, the list goes on and on. I'm ready for an ultimate Super 7 Lemmy figure. Uh, we saw King Diamond. He is up for pre... Well, he's no longer up for pre-order. He was up for pre-order. You know I was a day one buyer. I would be the same for Lemmy. So hopefully 2021, we get a Lemmy Super 7 sometime this year up for pre-order. I guess I could say pre-order. We're not going to get it in our hands in 2021. But hopefully we get a pre-order it in 2021 at least. I would love it if Super 7 would step up to the plate and do that for us. So there it is. There's one I want is Lemmy from Motorhead, of course. Next up is one I think a lot of you guys would agree with me. You guys know wrestling figures. You know what I want out of my wrestling figures. I want big guys. I want face paint. I want cool articulation. I want cool looking big figures. You know, all the usual stuff I want. And it's time. It's time to get LOD, the Road Warriors, the Legion of Doom back in figure form in 2021. we got to figure out a way to get this done. I don't foresee Mattel stepping up and doing Road Warriors. It just seems like that's not on the table. But maybe uh, the Hawk and Animal Estates can come to some kind of an agreement with, once again, Super 7 or possibly Storm Collectibles. You guys know, probably as well as I do, the Road Warriors Legion of Doom had a big name over in Japan. That means Storm might step up to the plate. We've seen Jushin Thunder Liger. We might see other characters, uh, hopefully in 2021 as well. I would love a Storm or Super 7 Road Warriors Legion of Doom. There's so many repaints. You think of the many Jushin Thunder Liger figures we've gotten from Storm uh, in the last year, two years. They could do that same thing with the Road Warriors. We could see black. We could see red. We could see blue. You could see silver and gray. There's so many ways that could go down. Uh, we could get Power Warrior. We could get all kinds of LOD stuff. And LOD, my favorite tag team of all time. Uh, you guys know I love Ultimate Warrior. We get a lot of Ultimate Warriors every single year, and it's great. I absolutely love it. But LOD is a missing part of the collection. I feel like we should get a new LOD something every year. In 2021, I want to see Storm come to the table or Super 7. So there you go. LOD is another one I want to see in 2021. Now going over to Star Wars, the Star Wars Black Series. We've got our first ever Ewok in 2020. Well, it's time to double down. It's time to get more Ewoks out there. I want to see my favorite and probably your favorite Ewok too. I want to see Wicket in the 6-inch Black Series scale. Some people like the Ewoks. Some people don't. Some people are in the middle. I love them. I want all the Ewoks. I want every single Ewok in the Black Series. Put them all in a box set. I don't care how you get them to me. I'll buy them. But I want to see Wicket, obviously the most popular Ewok. Uh, put him in with another one. Do it old school Power of the Force style if you have to. I don't care what it takes, but I need Wicket in my collection in the 6-inch scale Black Series. I need to get an Ewok Village in the 6-inch Black Series. Get me Wicket, Hasbro. Make it happen. We need to see Wicket in the Black Series. Back to wrestling and a modern day wrestler. Uh, I'm sure this will probably resonate with a lot of you guys probably want to see this as well. And it's a female wrestler. I want to see a Shotzi Blackheart Elite. Talk about heavy metal punk rock look. Uh, talk about toyetic with that green hair. 
I think that would be a slam dunk seller. You know, female figures do tend to peg warm a little bit more than the male counterparts. I got to think a Shotzi Blackheart would go to the next level, and I think that would be a very, very wanted figure across the board people would want to pick up. I know I've heard some people chattering online that they want an Ultimate Edition. I don't see an Ultimate Edition Shotzi. I don't know if she's a big enough name for that quite yet. Maybe one day. Uh, but I would love to see, and we talk about it a lot on the channel here, Build-A-Figures. I'd love to see wrestling do more than once a year. Do more than once a year Build-A-Figures. Do an elite set with Build-A-Figures. Let's build that tank. We need Shotzi in her tank. Put a piece with every single character. Bam, there it is. Or, uh, if you can't do that, for whatever reason, let's just do a ringside collectibles tank. Do it separate. Sell it for 20 bucks, whatever it would be. Let's make that happen. But I gotta think in 2021, we will get a Shotzi Blackheart Elite uh, or at least an announcement. I have to believe that is in the plans. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if we don't get a Shotzi Basic before we get the Elite. That seems to how the way Mattel has been going lately. But uh, we need Shotzi Blackheart. You know, that green hair, the toyeticness of her just screams, let's make a toy of it. I'm no different. I need that one. But I would love to see that tank. And I'm sure a lot of you guys agree with that pick as well. Now let's jump over to Marvel Legends. What do I want to see from Marvel Legends in 2021? It's going to be a huge year for Marvel Legends. Uh, they've already kind of said, hey, this is our biggest release year yet. We're going to have so many figures. Uh, last year, the line of the year for my books was the Spider-Man retro line. I want to see more X-Men, more retro lines. Sounds like we're going to get a Fantastic Four retro line sometime in 2021. Uh, let's keep that going. Let's get an X-Men line back out there. I know we had it in the past. Put it back out with the retro line. Put Spider-Man, keep that one going. And this is kind of a tie. It's kind of a cop-out for me. But there's two Build-A-Figures I missed out on back in the day. You guys probably know where I'm going. We need them re-released. And that is Rhino for Spider-Man and the Blob for X-Men. If I could get one of those re-released this year, I would be just ecstatic. Do it like they did with the Kingpin. Put it on the retro card back. Make it a little bit more expensive because it is a bigger figure. But I want to see Rhino or the Blob. Those are two must-have figures for me. I want to put that Marvel Select away or sell it or do something to it. I want the Marvel Legends version. Give us some updates. Make it, you know, they'll update both of these ones if they make them. It's not going to be a straight re-release to make a lot of the older collectors angry. Uh, but I know how that works too. Nobody's going to be happy. Not everybody is going to be happy with a re-release of those. Because it's going to take down the value of the Blob and Rhino build of figures of the past. Like we saw with the Rogue that recently got released as a Target exclusive. But let's see what happens with there. But I would love to see a Blob or Rhino. I got to think... Uh, if I was a betting man, I got to think one or both of those would be coming or at least announced in 2021, but that's just my gut telling me that. So there you go. Now we got to go to G.I. Joe Classified. You guys know I love G.I. Joe. Uh, absolutely love the Classified line. There's so many characters I want, but when I go to what we've had already and what uh, could possibly be announced, my brain goes immediately to the Crimson Twins. Zaymot, Tomax, love them from the cartoon, loved them in the comic book. Uh, toyetic characters, I would love a deluxe two-pack. I feel like you have to pack them together, old school style. I hope we get them. And I would even love down the line, I think we'd get their regular uh, fighting suits, whatever you want to call them. I would have to think we would get Zaymot and Tomax in those first. However, down the line, I would love a repaint with those heads in suits. Uh, much like we did in the uh, G.I. Joe Collectors Club a few years back. They gave us the suit versions. I would love both versions of Zaymont and Tomax. Two of my favorite villains in the G.I. Joe universe. Uh, I have to think those will be made, hopefully announced or made in 2021. We'll see what happens. Back to wrestling. You guys know I love my wrestling. And we're going to talk Ultimate Editions. A lot of people throwing around Ultimate Editions. Which ones they want. As of we sit right now, uh, we've got a Macho Man and Edge just uh, starting to come out. Um, but who do we need? Who do we need that would really fill that Ultimate Edition line? And it's none other than one of my favorites of all time, Rowdy Roddy Piper. We need the Ultimate Edition Roddy Piper. Uh, I'm just kind of spitballing off the top of my head here, but I'd like to see two extra heads. You put the head where his long hair, uh, kind of late 80s, early 90s look when he was feuding with Brett and the Mountie and that kind of stuff. Uh, and then give us the old school head from, you know, WrestleMania 1, let's say. Then you gotta have a soft good hot rod shirt in there. You gotta have a soft goods kilt. You gotta have a set of bagpipes. We know Mattel has uh, the mold for bagpipes back to the uh, entrance great figure back in the day. Hopefully they can update that or repaint that or do something different with that. But uh, I'd really like to see those bagpipes in there as another thing. Possibly another shirt. Maybe give him the reality check shirt or a black shirt. Something different there. Obviously the different hands for Roddy Piper. Open hands. All the hands we get from. Uh, 
Mattel over the years uh, put those all in there. I think the Piper Ultimate Edition is a no-brainer. I do think we'll get that. Whether or not we'll get it in 2021, I don't know. But I do have to think that Ultimate Edition Roddy Piper uh, has got to be on the books somewhere. It's got to be being talked about, and that's one I would want. That's probably my most wanted. Not probably. It is my most wanted Ultimate Edition uh, for 2021 and beyond at this point. So hopefully that comes out soon. Now we're going to jump back to G.I. Joe Classified. And this is maybe a hot take. Uh, some people love him, some people hate him. Uh, where I grew up and when I was into G.I. Joe's, he was a game changer for me. I absolutely loved him. And I'm talking about none other than Serpentor. Some people think that's where G.I. Joe went south. That's when I think it really picked up the steam with G.I. Joe. Uh, I want to see Serpentor released in 2021. Uh, hopefully not a Cobra Island, but I could see this maybe a Cobra Island... Uh, adventure once again and they might pack it similar to that baroness you guys remember the baroness figure that came with the motorcycle you get serpentor with his chariot uh, i would absolutely love a serpentor one of my favorite toys of the 80s that's just screaming for a six inch scale update i mean talk about toyetic that is serpentor especially you get that chariot i would love to see the extended staff of a, a cobra where he threw it into duke's heart one of the craziest scenes of any movie i've ever seen i was just totally in shock as a little kid watching that uh, I would love to see that. I would just love to see Serpentor, and I hope they flush out. I mean, I want Cobra Law. I want all that stuff. I know some Joe purists hate that. I love Cobra Law. I love all that. I would love to see a snake Cobra Commander where he was turned into a snake, but I know that's not possible in 2021. That's way down the line, if at all, ever, but I got to think a Serpentor has got to be on the table. I uh, just want to see a Serpentor. That would be awesome. And then we're going to go back to wrestling. For the next one I want, I've been saying this for years, I've been saying this back to the classic superstars days, out of my whole list of you viewers out there, you probably disagree with me uh, on this one the most, but hey, this is my list, this is who I want to see, and I want to get a Dory Funk Jr. Uh, wrestling figure. Mattel, do it as a collector's edition, uh, Jazzwares maybe, I don't know, somebody get me a Dory Funk Jr. I would love to see Storm Collectibles do a Terry and Dory Funk Jr. 2-pack. They're huge over in Japan. I know time is is going on. A lot of young collectors, a lot of young wrestlers, a lot of young people watching this, they have no idea who Dory Funk Jr. is, and I totally understand that. But I absolutely love Dory Funk. I love the Funks. Terry Funk is, uh, him and the Ultimate Warrior are my two top favorite wrestlers of all time. Uh, and I need Terry's brother, Dory. Uh, classic Dory looked the same age for 100 years, so uh, you, you don't really have to reinvent the wheel. But I think that would be a great collector's edition from Mattel. I know it might be a challenge to sell, but selfishly i want dory funk in figure form uh you know in one of these six inch scaled lines i don't care which one does it does somebody do it we need a dory funk jr uh, that's my most wanted figure before i retire from figure collecting i gotta get myself a dory funk jr figure and then we gotta go back to gi joe once again for my top 10 uh, my last one on my list and that is shipwreck i know some people like others they don't like shipwreck I loved Shipwreck. Him and Flint were probably my two favorite G.I. Joe uh, good guys uh, back in the day. I always thought he was really toyetic in that old school sailor outfit. It'd be interesting what a modern take would be. I'd hope they'd keep him to that same sailor costume, but I don't know. It might be totally updated and totally different, but I want a classic Shipwreck. I want a classic G.I. Joe line. That's not going to happen in 2021, but I think in the future we'll get the retro-inspired G.I. Joe line. And uh, If we don't get a Shipwreck, then we definitely need a Shipwreck. Uh, now so one way or the other shipwreck let's get it done hasbro gi joe classified team make old kyle happy and then finally as a little bonus what i really want to see and it was actually teased the weekend i'm filming this uh, i gotta think where there's smoke there is fire jeremy padauer the legendary toy maker creator of jack's classic superstars asked the twitter question online who would like to see jack's class superstars come back who's gonna say no to that there's like 12 percent of the people that said no and i don't know who you people are but uh, maybe you're people voting with your wallet so you don't want to spend a bunch of money. I guess I can understand that a little bit. But not me. I'm all in. Give me the Jax Classic Superstars, Jazzwares Classic Superstars. I could see Jeremy. It's like, it's like these TV shows coming back. You know, Saved by the Bell comes back. You know, Girl Meets World from Boy Meets World Universe. Uh, there's all these TV shows that get uh, come back. They get a second life after all these years. Uh, Fuller House, another great one from When's the Family Matters reboot coming? We need that. Let's get uh, Jaleel White back in action. We need the Family Matters going. But uh, just like uh, TV shows and movies get reboot, maybe we'll get the reboot of the classic superstars. And I could see Jeremy. He understands it. I would love to see the same packaging. He could do that, literally the same packaging, and it would just be 
uh, continued on. He said in his tweet, who wants to see Classic Superstars Series 29? It'd be no different than Mattel Legends. You just take the WWE logos off it and bam, there you go. How amazing would that be? Uh, if that happens, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm obviously buying two sets of all those. I'm going to have to buy a new house. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to have to move to the country. I'm going to have to build like a, a building. And that's what I'm going to have to do because... I don't got much room for more classic superstars. I mean, I got one more wall I could add on to it, but boy, if he does another 25, 30 sets, I don't know what I'm going to do, how I'm going to display those all mint on car, but I'll find a way. Uh, you know I'm a serious buyer. I'm a day one buyer for a classic superstars uh, relaunch. And you got to think, that might be my chance to get Dory Funk Jr., Terry Funk, a lot of guys. Uh, so there would be very, very interesting times if uh, Classic Superstars come back. And like I said, where there's smoke, there's fire. We could be seeing that in the future. So hopefully that ends up happening. So there it is. A quick line I want to see in 2021 and 10 figures I need to see in 2021. What I want you to do is you give me your list. Give me your 10 most wanted figures in 2021 or at least pre-order available in 2021. Uh, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. I finally got around to it. Um, you guys tell me your list, and then while you're here, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got videos every single day. I hope some of these come to fruition so we can unbox these on the channel sometime in 2021. So don't miss a subscription. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the old notification bell. All that kind of fun stuff. Uh, and don't forget to uh, like the video. Like I said, we're going to keep them coming. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this happens, but make sure you give me your top 10 list. So there it is, my top 10 list for 2021. Keep your fingers crossed for me. But I'm Kyle, and I'm strutting and strolling, rocking and rolling like a young Marty Jannetty in my way out of here. And I'll see you guys all real soon.